Hi there, and thank you so much for watching today. I wanted to chat with you about um, a frugal find that I just recently made, and I'll tell you about that. And then I wanted to give you some tips on where you might be able to find some frugal treasures of your own um, that won't cost a lot of money or, or anything, really. Just kind of ideas for you to look for things that you um, might find in your own life that you wouldn't have to necessarily pay a lot of money for. So as I kind of have explained in other videos, I have have a bit of flexibility in my daylight hours lately because of a job change so I decided to put some of those hours to use and clean out a uh, back room in uh, my house so while I was cleaning out the room I made a discovery that was really exciting because at the beginning of the year I had been looking for this thing and I couldn't find one that I really liked and I was kind of looking around and I couldn't find one my budget was like 10 to 20 bucks um, couldn't find one within that price range, so I just kind of scrapped it. And lo and behold, eight months later, I found the thing that I was looking for, which was a five-year journal. So this I found in my, um, in the back room of my house that I already had. I'd purchased it maybe 10 years ago and just threw it in, in into a bag and forgot about it, and I just now found it. So really exciting, um, excited to find it. It was like a, a little gift, a present from my past self to my future self, um, which is really exciting. And if you're not familiar with the concept of a five-year journal, it, I'll kind of give you a, a background. So this book happens to be have the dates written in, but basically what it is, and I'll show you, it's um, the dates are here. It's a book where every day you summarize the day in like one or two sentences telling, you know, what happened, the, any significant events of the day. And then you go through and you do that every day and then you start it again the next year and then the year after that, you do that for five years. So you can kind of see over the course of the same day how your life has changed over, um, over the course of five years on the same day. So I started the first entry yesterday. Um, August 19th and I wrote it here and you can see if you, you if you're interested you can look up examples and you'll see the images there would be like different color pens maybe if you use a different color pen for each year you can see how your life sort of develops over the course of five years so I had been looking for this especially since it's a five year like it's 2015 I that's one of the main reasons I wanted to do this and I was like oh well, it's not the beginning of the year and I figured you can start anytime with something like this so this have this says days to remember a journal of lifetime events because another way you can use this is to only write in it for significant events, but I'm just going to do it every day um, for the next five years. So it's kind of exciting to think um, what my life will be like in five years. <laughs> because I'm hoping that it's going to change significantly. Um, so here's to that hope and to that sort of dream and working toward that future of which being frugal is a big part. So if you're out there and you happen to have some extra time on your hands, some things that you might be able to do to look for sort of frugal treasures of your own, check out garage sales. I mean, I know that you've probably heard that, but you can also offer to maybe clean out a friend's garage or attic in exchange for maybe, and I, I wouldn't start with like, oh, hey, you know, I get to keep what I want if you let me clean that out. But like, just kind of being like, hey, I'll help you clear that out. And then maybe you're there and you see something and you're like, oh yeah, here, take it. So just kind of being open to that possibility, maybe of using your time to help benefit someone else, which is never a bad thing. Um, also check out if your town has a recycling center or a neighboring town has a recycling center. Sometimes people just bring stuff like, like expensive stuff and leave it. Um, so that's a good place to look. I know I found, I, I tend to, and this is kind of like, it's almost dumpster diving, but not really. Um, we also, we have curbside pickup, but we have a recycling center as well. And sometimes I'll go there and look in the paper section and people will get rid of magazines. And sometimes they're like current issues. So I've gotten some really good magazines for like scrap um, collaging that have, I've found there. Um, also, you can check out libraries because they sometimes have really great um, book sections and they'll often, if they're, like they try to sell the books and they're not doing so well, sometimes they'll just give them away for free. So it can be a great place to pick up new books or to donate your books if you have some books that you wanna um, pass along. So those are my frugal tips for the day. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you will watch again soon. Thanks, bye.